it's Chef Joe Arvin from Big Brother 14 here at Reality Rally. And today we got the first contestants coming off stage for the Chef Showcase. And my first question is, Rob, did you win? No, I knew I was losing as soon as I got Dan as a partner. What the heck happened out there? Do you know what olive oil is for on a waffle grill? So this is round two of the Chef Showcase, the Celebrity Chef Showcase for Reality Rally. So I want to know what was the first thought that came to your mind when you saw that you'd been drawn with your partner that you were going to be? Well, I was lucky because I'm a terrible cook, so I was just blessed to have somebody that actually knew what they were doing in the kitchen, Jillian. So I felt, you know, like I could win this dang thing. Well, I, I feel like our plate was delicious, so yeah, if I had to choose, I think we won, but you know, I didn't get to taste her food, so I can't tell you unless I... Unless the judges, the judges will tell me who won. Just come off the third showcase. I wanted, I looked so cool and awesome from where I was, but I want to know what you think. Let's start with Anthony. What do you think? Uh, I think it was awesome. The, I had an amazing partner. She makes the best sauce in the world, that's no lie. And it was, uh, it was fun. Oh my God, this was a great time. I love using the fresh ingredients and the grass-fed beef. Big difference. You can't throw teriyaki with some cheap cut of beef. This was really, it was easy to work with good ingredients and a great chef. On your experience, I know you've all been on a cutthroat kitchen, chopped, hell's kitchen. Where does this reality rally chef showcase come in comparison to those type of shows? Oh, this is this is way more of a mess. Way more. <laughs> way more of a mess, yeah. Oh way more fun, though, I think. I, yeah. I can tell you this for sure. Just sitting out as a spectator, you look out and you see the complete and utter chaos. But I will say this, guys. You guys put it all together, and I will say this. It definitely looked like a mess, but from the judge's perspective, it didn't taste like a mess. From my side, it, it was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, we kind of like joked around about who was going to be paired up for round two, and, and when I drew the, the guy who was on Worst Cook of America, it, it, we kind of laughed a little bit, but it was good because I know the premise of the show was to take somebody who doesn't really know much and turn them into somebody who does know a fair amount. So I was felt very comfortable. Alex came in there and he's like, look, I'm just gonna support you. You let me know what we got and we'll just move forward with it. So it was it was very cool in that sense. You do know that the reason we don't have any open flame in there because is because of you. Out. Absolutely. <laughs> biggest fire in Food Network history. They had to call the fire department. I swear, it's no joke. They caught a boom microphone on fire because the grease went so high. They, I, I still get emails about it all day from production, but yeah, I caused the worst fire in Food Network. That's why we don't have open flame in there. It's all because of you. So, so you guys were uh, paired up. Yes. So how was that for you? That was great. Got a handsome sidekick in the kitchen and he looked at me and said, keep it simple, and I was in heaven. It was perfect. Yeah. I, it was great working with her. I mean, I couldn't have chosen a better partner. I'm glad I didn't get Dan. <laughs> I was praying that I did not get Dan. On this round, we have Rich Mancini from Hell's Kitchen 12 and more. And Steve Kazel. I keep calling you Kazel. It sounds more whatever. Kazel, last Got it, got it. Cutthroat Kitchen. And Zamora, and I keep butchering your name too. I'm sorry. Supermarket Superstar and Anthony Rodriguez from Hell's Kitchen 3. And... Uh, Oh, I'm blind, sorry. So we got some more competitors us. coming up. So you think you got this in the bag? I really want to know. Oh, sure. Look at us. Yeah. Look at us. We didn't Do even you, have to really you, try <laughs> that time. There was an effort, really, right? That was, Ooh. that was like a blindfolded. Ooh. I don't know, Rob. You think a rematch, maybe? Uh, yeah, definitely. Or by yourself. <laughs> Next time, is, I'll put Dan on the waffle iron, yeah. so he has to go to the hospital and I can do everything myself. I'm already you know? Look at me. Uh, did you? Did you by chance? put any kind of ratios in your head together when you were mixing that waffle? God, no. What I want to know also is how was it being paired? Because you're usually single on your shows, correct? That's that's very true. It's usually individuals. Well, on our show, we're usually on a team, so we're used to it. But uh, to be thrown in with someone you have no idea how to work with, uh, it's awesome that she's just an amazing chef that we just work together really well. It makes it really easy for me because um, I can't plate. I can make really good food, but I don't know how. It doesn't look pretty, but it tastes good. That's what counts. Yours look really pretty, but let's see where it, it, it was edible. OK, we'll see. So that was really a good thing. We wanted to throw you guys, and I think we did, sort of. Creative minds work alike. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Easy as I was been working on them for 20 years. What conclusion did you come to make your dish? I mean, what, what said, hey, we're going to come together, the two Amandas, and work this out? The, the dish kind of just made itself. We yeah. basically I think originally, the as table. long as we had the staples, we 
Yeah. Yeah. We look at the table. We and they like each we, other. We That's what it is. I love that you. was the main ingredient. I mean, a little love. Yeah. Love. We had. We had. Ours was made purely on hate. I saw her <laughs> yeah, across was, the room. Right? Did, 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 at any point, did you guys actually discuss what you were making together? Very briefly. Right. Once he started, I shut down. When he starts to start to talk, I can't. Like listen avocado to him waffle. Talk. You're done. You know, I, I'm still okay. sweating because I can't believe God cursed me with this guy. Whatever I do at the charities, especially something like this, like. I mean, I look like, you know, a hard outside shell, but when we were at Michelle's place, I mean, I had tears in my eyes. So it's touching, and, and, and I'm glad that we are able to help. You know, the people that were on TV can utilize that and pay it forward and do something. We just want to say thank you to Reality Rally. We had such a great time, and uh, I'm looking forward to coming back next year and doing it again. We got to uphold it's an our honor. title. It's an honor. It's definitely an honor. Well, next year I want to be with them. So I have to also say that you and I were talking last night, right? Oh, yeah, we're gonna and you had another I had another idea. brilliant idea. But I'm whispering because our production team is always telling me to stop thinking. So I haven't told them a thing yet. Okay. But it, I it's, will be. It's, it could bring this whole event to yep. another $30,000, $40,000. Ah, it is. I'm leaving it as a cliffhanger. On behalf of Reality Rally and the Chef Showcase, guys, we want to thank you. You did an awesome job. We're going to keep growing this thing and getting it bigger and bigger and hopefully better and better. And we'll be back here to compete again next year. Thank you. Thank awesome. you. See you guys out there. We love you.